Today, I want to show you how you can look at your score for your quiz and then also see any feedback if the quiz um, allows you to. So to start, we're gonna go into our class. Once you're in your class, go up here to quizzes and exams. And then you will see any quizzes that we have here. So this student, for example, has completed both of the quizzes and the student has also received feedback on their attempts, right? So the attempts means how many times you tried. Um, for each of these quizzes, you're allowed to try two times. So this student has done two tries or two attempts for the present progressive quiz and one try for the thesis statement quiz. You don't have to do two tries, you can just do one, and if you're happy with your grade, you don't have to do another one. But if you want to get a higher grade, you can try again. Okay, so first let's look at writing a thesis statement quiz. We're gonna click on feedback on attempt. And then you'll see attempt number one. The student got two out of 16. So that's only 12 and a half percent. That's not a very good grade. Probably this student should try again, but in order to try again, you wanna see your feedback. So click on attempt one, and it has some feedback from the teacher. The teacher says, you forgot to answer questions number two through four. Oh, that's why I got that wrong. I got zero out of four for two through four, that's not good. Okay, um, I did answer one question though, and I got two out of four points, which again is not a great grade. So I'm gonna click on view feedback to see what the teacher said. The teacher said your thesis statement needs to be a full sentence. For this one, you need to add what the two reasons are. Okay, so the question was, what are two reasons why education is important? And I wrote, two reasons why education is important. Uh, but I need to say what the two reasons are. So maybe I could fix this by saying two reasons why education is important is, and then give the two reasons. Okay, I won't give away the answer. So that needs to be a full sentence. It's not complete. This gives me an idea of how I can try this quiz again. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is go back to quizzes. I need to click here, done. Okay, now that I've seen um, for writing a thesis statement quiz, I want to check out the other quiz, the present progressive practice quiz. Okay, again, I'm going to click over here, feedback on attempt. And then I'll see two uh, attempts, right? For one, I got 70%. And for the second one, I got 80%. So my overall grade is the highest score or the highest attempt. So my overall grade is going to be that 80%. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that, right? Um, again, if you want to see feedback, you can click on this. Uh, okay, so it looks like this one doesn't have any feedback. If you don't see any feedback here, it's usually because not all the students have taken the quiz. So for example, for this one, we might need to wait so that students don't share answers or something like that. Um, for this one, you don't have feedback. You just have your score seven out of 10 points, okay? So I hope that helps you to see um, how you can see your score and whether or not you should do another attempt. And then also how to see feedback if it's available. It's not always available. So if you have a question about that, you can always email and ask me, is feedback available? Can I see my feedback or no? Okay.